स्टूडेंट्स मैं सुनता क्या दीदी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन टेंपरेरी एंड परमानेंट हार्डनेस ऑफ वाटर इन यूनिट्स मिलीग्राम पर लीटर सो व्हाट आर द एक्सप्रेशंस एंड यूनिट्स सो दिस इज द फार्मूला दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग फॉर्म द for calculating the hardness of any water sample so it is the weight of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100 which is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate to express to express in equivalence of equivalence of carbonate by calcium carbonate so we are generally expressing this hardness in the equivalence of calcium carbonate therefore we are multiplying with 100 which is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate so these are the salts that are present in a water sample so generally these are the hardness causing salts that are responsible for the hardness in that water and these are the molecular weights of the um, the corresponding salt that is present in the water and this is the equivalent weight or the chemical equivalent of particular um, salt and this is a multiplication factor wherein 100 divided by for example 162 this is the calcium carbonate molecular weight and this is the molecular weight of the corresponding salt. So we also have uh, uh, several units for expressing this hardness. So what are the units that we used in the ER? Like ppm, milligram per liter, French uh, degree French and degree clerk. So what is ppm? ppm means parts per million. Parts per million and degree French, degree French and degree clerk. Degree so these are the different units that are used and milligram per liter is milligram mg per liter is milligrams per liter so these are the different units that are used to express the hardness of any water sample so we have some conversions now we are our session we will be discussing the milligram per liter expressing in milligram per liter therefore how do we convert it is like 1 ppm is equal to 1 mg per liter so whenever there are weight it is gram or, or milligrams or milli or in concentration milligram per liter and gram equivalent weight and molecular weight is also gram equivalent per uh, liter so ultimately we get the units milligram per liter so the directly the the formula itself will be giving us the milligram per liter so let us go into the examples. A water sample sample of water is found that contains following analytical data in milligram per liter. Milligram per liter. So they have given in the milligram per liter. So what is uh, magnesium bicarbonate it is having 14.6 milligram per liter. Magnesium sulfate is 6 and calcium bicarbonate is 16.2. So we have bicarbonates and carbonates, bicarbonates and sulfates. So sulfate will contribute to permanent hardness, bicarbonates will contribute to temporary hardness. Now calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water sample in mg per liter. So what is the formula we have to use? Degree of hardness is equal to weight of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100 that is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate. So now we will substitute the values. So there are uh, bicarbonate salt, magnesium bicarbonate and calcium bicarbonate, so 14.6 and 16.2 and their molecular weights are 146 for the magnesium bicarbonate and 162 for the calcium bicarbonate. Now uh, uh, calculate the equivalent 100 by 146 into 14.6 is 10. Similarly, for uh, calcium bicarbonate also, 16.2 into 100 by 162 will give 10 milligram per liter. So in the same way, magnesium chlorine and magnesium sulfate, we have to calculate like 9.5 is the amount that is present and 95 is the molecular weight and we are uh, calculating the equivalent 100 by 95 into 9.5 that is given rise to 10 and magnesium sulfate, it is 6 and the molecular weight is 120 and forming the equivalent 100 by 120 into 6 that is given rise to 5. Now it's time for us to calculate 
the temporary and permanent harvest. So, what are the uh, soils that are responsible for temporary? Bicarbonate salts are responsible for the temporary harvest. So, bicarbonates are magnesium bicarbonate and calcium bicarbonates. So, what are they present? This is temporary hardness. This is also temporary hardness. So, 10 plus 10 is 20 milligram per liter. 20 milligram per liter. So, we can even write in the other way. This is the other way of writing milligram per liter in the modern convention. So, permanent hardness is due to chlorides and sulfates that are responsible for causing the hardness in the sample. So, 10 plus 5, this is permanent hardness. This is also causing permanent hardness. So, 10 plus 5 will give rise to 15 milligram per liter. So, these are uh, the concentrations of uh, hardness that is present in that particular water sample. So now uh, calculate the amount of temporary and permanent hardness of a water sample in milligram per liter which contains falling impurities. So impurities now is nothing but again hardness causing salts. So which are undesirable. These are undesirable. So therefore we call it an impurity. Calcium bicarbonate, it is 121.5 ppm. Magnesium bicarbonate 116.8 ppm. Magnesium chloride 79.6 ppm and calcium sulfate 102 ppm. So bicarbonates are responsible for temporary hardness. These are responsible for temporary hardness and these are responsible for permanent hardness. These are responsible for permanent hardness. Now we will look into the formula. Temporary uh, degree of hardness is equal to weight of hardness causing salt by molecular weight of the hardness causing salt into 100. That is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate. And now put it in a table. Calcium carbonate, by calcium bicarbonate, it is 121.5 and its molecular weight is 162. So 100 by 162 gives an equivalent and then multiply with 121.5. We get 75 mg per liter. And similarly for magnesium bicarbonate, it is 116.8 ppm they have given. So ppm or milligram per liter is same. The expression is same. It is equivalent. Yeah, equal uh, in expression. So 146 is the molecular weight of magnesium bicarbonate. Now we will form, uh, give the equivalent 100 by 146 into 116.8 that will give rise to 80 milligram per liter. So this is forming the, the, these two are giving rise to temporary hardness. Then for magnesium chloride 179.6 is given in the question. Uh, so the molecular weight is 95. Uh, the equivalent is 100 by 95 into 79.6. That is 3.37. And next, calcium sulfate 102 is given. So 136 is the molecular weight. So 100 by 136 into 102. So that is giving rise to 75 per milligram per liter or ppm. So the temporary hardness is calculated from the bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. 75 plus 80 giving rise to 155 mg, uh, milligram per milligram per Meter. So, if at all, the, if you see this in the question, it is similar like milligram per meter. Next, permanent hardness is due to chlorides and sulfates of magnesium and uh, calcium respectively. So, these are added up 3.37 plus 75 giving rise to 78.37 milligram per meter. Milligram per meter. So, these are the hardness causing salts present in this, in this particular water sample. Next, um, a sample of water is found that to contain the dissolving salts in milligram per liter. So, they have already given in the milligram per liter. So, magnesium bicarbonate is 16.8 ppm. So, magnesium chloride is 12 ppm. Magnesium sulfate is 29.6 ppm. And this is 5 ppm. So, here all are, all are magnesium salts. Magnesium salts. And sodium salt doesn't, no role in, no role in hardness. So, uh, sodium salt will not contribute to any hardness. So, determine the temporary and permanent hardness of water sample in milligram per liter. And the formula is like same um, degree of hardness, weight of the hardness causing salt by molecular weight of hardness causing salt into 100. And now the bicarbonate is like magnesium bicarbonate is 16.8 and its molecular weight is 146. So 100 by 146 into 16.8 will give rise to 11.5 milligram per liter. Similarly, for magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate is calculated. So 12 and 95 is the molecular weight of magnesium chloride. So 100 by 90 
25 into 12. So that is given as 11 raised to 12.63. Next, uh, magnesium sulfate 29.6 as in the question. So uh, the molecular weight is 120. Uh, now divide it with 100. 100 by 120 into 29.6 and that will give rise to 24.66. So if you see that this does not um, uh, contribute to any hardness, therefore ignore. Ignore NaCl wherever it appears in the questions. So now we will calculate the temporary and permanent hardnesses. So temporary hardness is just because of this bicarbonate, only one salt that is present. So 11.5 milligram per liter. And permanent hardness is due to fluorides and sulfates of magnesium. So 12.63 plus 24.66 will give rise to 37.29. Summing up, we get 37.29 milligram per liter, milligram per liter. So this is the temporary and permanent hardnesses that are present in this particular water sample. Next, a water sample or a sample of water will give an analysis of 13.6 milligram per liter of calcium sulfate and 7.3 milligram per liter magnesium bicarbonate calculate the hardness uh, uh, temporary and permanent hardness so this is permanent hardness sulfates this is temporary hardness so we will be using the same formula degree of hardness is equal to our rate of the hardness causing salts by molecular weight of the salts into 100 that is molecular weight of uh, calcium carbonate so this calcium sulfate, how much is it present? 13.6, 13.6 and magnesium bicarbonate, it is 7.3, 7.3 and take the molecular weights 100 by 136 into 13.6 that will give rise to 10 milligrams per liter and similarly for a 7.3 into 100 by 146 that is given rise to mg per liter, 5 mg per liter. So what are the causing salts for the temporary or permanent hardnesses? It is the only one that is present, bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, 5 mg per liter and temporary uh, permanent hardnesses due to calcium sulfate uh, um, salts that are present, so that is 10 mg per liter. So this is uh, like uh, temporary and permanent hardnesses that are present in that particular water sample. So if you see this permanent hardness is high when compared to temporary hardness. Next, calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of water in milligram per liter containing following these all salts. So calcium carbonate, if you see this, they have given carbonate. So carbonates or bicarbonates ultimately are temporary uh, causing salts. So they are uh, ultimately convert to bicarbonates. So that is why we take into consideration bicarbonates into the temporary um, uh, hardness causing salts. So 50 milligram per liter. Magnesium chloride is 9.5 milligram per liter, and calcium chloride is 2.2 milligram per liter, and magnesium sulfate is 12 milligram per liter. So here, chlorides, chlorides, and chlorides. So these are permanent hardness. So calcium carbonate is an insoluble salt. It does not cause hardness, but if calcium carbonate is given as hardness causing salt, it must be considered as bicarbonate. So whenever it is uh, present, it is to be considered as a bicarbonate only. So therefore, it is expressed in the form of a calcium carbonate equivalent. So here are the um, salts that we have to list out. So 50 milligram per liter, so molecular weight is 100, so we get 50 milligram per liter as the equivalent for the calcium carbonate. Then magnesium chloride is 9.5, so 9.5 into 100 by 95, that is 10 ppm or milligram per liter. Then magnesium sulfate is um, 12, so 12 into 100 by 120, so that will give rise to uh, 10 milligram per liter. Later. So that is how we calculate and uh, for the calcium chloride also. So 22.2 22 .2 into 100 by 111. So that is given rise to 20 milligram per liter. So these are present in that particular water sample. Now we will calculate what is the temporary and permanent hardness for that particular sample. So temporary hardness is just because of the carbonate that is present, that is 50 milligram per liter, and the permanent hardness because of the chloride, sulfates, and chlorides again, magnesium and calcium chlorides and magnesium sulfates. So 10 plus 10 plus 20 giving rise to 40 milligram per liter. 40 milligram per liter. Permanent hardness is low compared to temporary hardness, which is 50 milligram per liter. So vigorous boiling can remove the temporary hardness and then we move on to the treatment for removing the permanent hardness.
then calculate the temporary and permanent hardness and total hardness of the water sample having in the following composition calcium bicarbonate is 4 ppm magnesium bicarbonate is 6 ppm and magnesium sulfate is 10 ppm and calcium sulfate is 8 ppm and bicarbonate of sodium is 3 ppm so now we also use the same formula so whenever sodium bicarbonate is present in water temporary hardness increase at an expense of permanent hardness but the total hardness remains same so whenever there are sodium ions present the bicarbonate ions will only be responsible for the hardness so therefore temporary hardness will be increasing therefore the permanent hardness uh, is like can be calculated from the temporary hardness as total hardness will be uh, constant so now we will calculate the total hardness first for that. So 4 is like bicarbonate, calcium bicarbonate into 100 by 162 is a molecular weight into 6 is a magnesium bicarbonate into 100 by 146 is a molecular weight for magnesium bicarbonate. Then uh, plus 8 is a calcium sulfate, um, uh, calcium sulfate. This is the permanent hardness. We are remember that we are doing total hardness. So 8 into 100 by 136 plus 10 in 10 is the magnesium sulfate that is present. So 10 into 10 by 100 by 120. So this is the molecular weight for the magnesium sulfate. So we upon calculation we get 20.79 milligram per liter. So this is the total hardness that is present in that particular water sample. So, if we want to calculate the temporary hardness, same we will take for the bicarbonates. Bicarbonates are taken in a similar way. So, here it is like increasing the, because it is increasing the, because it is increasing the temporary hardness, it is, we are taking the into 2, into 2. So, into 2, 100 by 2 into 84. So that is giving rise to 8.37 milligram per liter. And the permanent hardness is equal to total hardness minus temporary hardness. So total hardness is 20.79 minus 8.37, which is giving rise to 12.42 milligram per liter. Milligram per liter or milligram per liter. So anyways, we can give the conjecture. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.